This is Adventure 7, and we are Obscure Terrain. Insert Animated Wesley. What's up, dude? How you doing, dude? I finally made it to the Black Range. You should see the sight out here. If you look from where I'm standing, you remember on episode one we took off kayaking from Caballo Lake. I can actually see Caballo Lake from up here. What's up everybody? My name is Wade McMahon and I'm with Obscure Terrain and today I'm doing Adventure 7 up here in the place we call the Black Range. I'm going to be hiking to Hillsboro Peak but before I get into that I want to talk a little bit of history uh, about the Silver Fire. It scorched this land and uh, you see the sign behind me kind of goes through the first three days and then after they put it out and how much it burned. So uh, you can't read it, so I'm going to describe it. So day one, June 7, 2013, the fire was caused by a lightning striking a tree. And uh, they sent crews in right on the first day, but it was in some really rough terrain. So day two... Around 2 a.m., the fire condition and concern for the firefighter safety uh, get pretty bad, so uh, they pull the firefighters back out to a safe zone. And by day three, 2,250 acres are already burned. It's amazing. It's amazing how quick a fire can spread. This one was caused by Mother Nature. So there's no one at fault, no one to blame. But as a backpacker, as a camper, you should be responsible for your fires. Make sure they're out. And if the fire danger is high, just suck it up and don't start a fire. The progression from June 10th to July 4th of 2013, it burned a total of 137,750 acres of land. That is roughly, 200 square miles. It was written back there, so I had to see it. And another fun fact is uh, in episode four, the spirits of the uh, whew, excuse me, spirits of the journey. We uh, backpacked a loop trail in the Chiricahua Mountains, and here in this mountain range also lived uh, the Chiricahua Apaches as well. So. It's kind of cool how everything is networked together. It's only me, so it's going to be my first solo hike. Uh, Wesley unfortunately uh, sustained a little injury that kind of puts him out for a little bit, so we decided let's keep doing uh, adventures. We already had this one planned. So I'm doing the Hillsboro Peak hike. It's only 8.9 miles. That's an in and out trek, and that's total mileage and I believe the the elevation is just a little over 2,000 feet in a uh, climb that I'm gonna be doing 
Uh, I there is no water up there, so I brought all my water. Uh, got enough food, enough sun protection because it's pretty warm right now. And uh, my plan is to take off and get back tomorrow by early afternoon, maybe midday. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to take my time, kind of explore this area, and uh, just play it safe. Because uh, since I'm by myself, I really got nobody to turn back to. There's no service out here. Two days, one night. 8.9 miles. I might go a little bit farther. We'll see. And an elevation gain of 2,000 feet. Pretty much, it's going to be a hot day. I believe it's going to get into the mid-90s. And I'm just going to stay hydrated, take my time. So the time right now is 8.30 a.m. Uh, I didn't bring a tent. I'm going to be attempting to, uh, attempting, I'm going to be attempting to hammock camp. So I got my rain fly, my hammock, and all the necessities that I believe I need. The weather today is supposed to be maybe cloudy in the, in the afternoon and then the evening. But tomorrow, supposedly a storm is rolling in. So I'll be hiking out in a storm. Uh, I got the proper gear to do it. I'm not too concerned about it. I can see a lot of cloud coverage out that way. Look, I see a, uh, I see a crow. A beautiful thing. So, uh, animals out here. There's bear, deer, uh, there's cougars, bobcats, uh, the normal southwestern uh, animals. Uh, I'll have to watch out for rattlesnakes, of course. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much all my concerns. And I'm not even too concerned about that at all. Uh, I'm going to be wearing a backpack. I'm going to look awkwardly big. Nothing's going to want to come near me. I mean, I might smell too, so nothing definitely won't come near me. But yeah, uh, that's everything. You know what? Just wanted to get away from everybody and find some peace out here. So with that being said, we'll see you guys on the trail. This is Adventure 7 in the Black Range of the Gila National Forest. Thank you for watching. Cue music. Wesley, cue music. Mm -hmm.